Brian here with Filtrol. I'm gonna talk a little bit about microfibers, lint, and your septic system, specifically more conventional gravity septic systems. Gravity septic systems work by gravity, obviously. As water comes into your tank, the water flows out into your drain field, into your distribution box, typically then into a trench or bed system, gravity the whole way. So what happens with lint or fibers from your washing machine is some of those fibers get caught in your septic tank, a certain percentage of those are actually gonna make their way out into your distribution box and your drain field. The downside of that over time is you're gonna accumulate fibers and sludge in your distribution box, which can be expensive to dig up and clean. Uh, the other thing that's gonna happen is those fibers are gonna not only accumulate in the distribution box, but some of them will make it out into your drain field and down into the soil, potentially creating a plugging layer in the bottom. So what'll happen in that scenario is you may end up getting uh, a plugging layer thick enough to where the water builds up, eventually then backs up into your septic tank. The water level in your septic tank is gonna rise up and eventually back up into your house and potentially flood it in the floor drain. It's just a really nasty problem that you don't wanna encounter. Another issue uh, that's more common on mound systems but that does happen on conventional drain fields is that sewage can leak to the surface, creating uh, issues where you might have a, a pet or a, a dog that might go and drink that, might roll in it, you might have kids playing in it. Uh, really nasty stuff you don't wanna have to deal with. One of the, the most cost-effective, simple solutions you can do is install a filtrol that can prevent most of those fibers from getting out to your septic tank or into your drain field at all. Significantly less expense than a uh, $500 to $1,000 repair to dig up a drain field to clean it, or many thousands more if you have to replace it. So go to filtrol.net, check out the filtrol, buy one. If you thought this video was educational and beneficial, please subscribe and share with your friends, and stay up to date on all things filtrol and future educational videos. Thanks.